In this video, I'm going to use, show how to use logs to help calculate um, large exponents or small exponents and, uh, and factorials. We're going to start with an example that could easily be done on a calculator and then move to one where it's much more challenging to do on a calculator. And there's no real difference between them. Um, so anyway, so we'll start with, say, 2 to the negative 7. And the procedure is going to be the following. So I'm going to, I'm going to want you know, the, the answer to that. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to take the log of, uh, of, of that number. And I'm going to be using log base tens just for, for convenience. Um, exponents become products. So I get negative 7 times the log 10 of, of 2. And this number can be easily done in a calculator, and you can show that's that's negative 2.107. Now that's log of the answer that I'm interested in. So if if this answer is y, log of y is negative 2.107. That means y is equal to 10 to the negative 2.107. And I prefer to have things in scientific notation, so I, I prefer to have it as uh, something times 10 to the something. That's, that's what I prefer. So in order to do that, we'll, we'll do the following. We have the 10 and negative 2, and then we have um, times 10 to the negative 0 0.107, and this is, this is simply 10 to negative 2 times but 0.78, or 7.8 times 10 to the negative 3. So we go back up here, and the answer to this question is 7.8 times 10 to the negative 3. Now you could have done this with your calculator without any problem. So, you know, kind of what's the big deal? Let's do a, the, the similar trick before a number that's a, a, quite a bit uh, uh, different. So, so to, how about 2 to the negative 7,000? Now, most calculators will just call that zero, but it's not zero because uh, we know that if we, you know, do some various operations, we could divide by two to the negative two thousand seven thousand and and get one, and and so that wouldn't happen if this were exactly zero. Um, so what is the what is the the closest number? So again, we take the log of both si of of the of this number, two to the negative seven thousand. The exponent becomes a product, so we get negative seven thousand times log of 2, so I get negative 2107.2. I'll often go out a decimal place or two on this to get the uh, um, uh, value out in front. So now the answer then will be, you know, 10 to the negative 2107.2, um, which is 10 to the negative 2107 times 10 to the negative 0.2, um, and this is you know, 10 to the negative 2107 times about 0.63. So now our final answer is 6.3 times 10 to the negative 2108. And that was, you know, pretty simple. And we could do it all with a, a basic calculator and there's no, um, and there's no problems. And, and we get an answer and, and we could, we could combine it. Now, what, what if I want to have a uh, something like what is a thousand factorial? Now most, you know, so just recall the factorial is one times two times three times four all the way up to that number. Most calculators break somewhere around you know 100 to 200 factorial, which just won't you know, do that. So how how can we do this? In this case, there is a uh, nice little approximation called Stirling's approximation. That says the following: the natural log of of some number factorial is approximately equal to, you know, n natural log n minus n. Now it has to be natural log, but we'll, we'll translate back that back to, to to base ten log afterward. So if I wanted to do a uh, thousand factorial, I wonder what that number is. The first thing I do is look at the natural log of 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 a uh, thousand factorial. That's going to be approximately equal to a thousand log a thousand minus a thousand okay, and that can be done on the calculator very easily and that's and that's five nine oh seven point seven five okay so now that we have that i'd like to translate that back into scientific notation which means i need to do base 10 and so the easiest way to do that is is is, is to divide by 2.3 um, because the log 
base 10 of a number is the same as the log base e of that number divided by 2.3. Okay, so we do that, that will give us our log base 10 of 1000 factorial is 5907.75 over 2.3 or about 2568.59. Now I can raise this to the power of 10 to get my final answer of 1000 factorial is 10 to 2568 times 10 to the 0.59. Uh, which then becomes 3.89 times 10 to the 2, 5, 6, 8. And so we have a, an answer for that. And we can do this for any factorials uh, that are sufficiently large, and we can play this trick for any of the exponents, positive or negative, to get a, a number uh, when our calculators break.